Hey y'all, we're going to do some flathead fishing later on tonight and we're about to catch some moon eye to use for bait. And I'm going to take y'all along with me and show you how I catch them. So stay tuned. Alright, so if you don't know what a moon eye is, it's just another type of bait fish. It looks kind of similar to a shad or maybe some type of herring. They're actually not related to a shad or a herring. They're in their own category and I can't remember the name right off. There's two species in that category. That's a gold eye and a moon eye. What we're going to be catching here is going to be moon eye. I've never caught a gold eye in this river. But we catch quite a few moon eye. And they get pretty big. I guess the biggest one I've ever caught was probably 15 inches or so, but I'd say on average probably 8 to 10 inches is a good size. Now you can't find these moon eye all over the United States, and I'll try to find a map or a diagram showing what, what state you can catch them in. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can go about catching these moon eye. One's going to be in a cast net, and then one's going to be on rod and reel, and that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to be using a rod and reel set up pretty much just like you would use to catch bluegill. A uh, small bobber, a split shot, a small hook, and pretty much the same bait you would use to catch bluegill. Crickets, red worms, wax worms, mill worms, that kind of thing. And you can also use small little flies or top water poppers. And when I say popper, here's what I'm talking about. And I got a pack of them right here, just these little things. They're about the size of a cricket or something. Of course, you can't cast that on a regular rod and reel, so I put a real small weighted float a couple feet above it just so I can cast, but the fly is still going to be on top of the water and just twitch it and make it look like a bug on top of the water, and they'll come up and nail that too. And the next step is going to be locating the moon eye, which can be a little tricky sometimes. And there's a couple different places you're going to look depending on the situation you're in. If you've got a lot of current, you're going to want to look in current seams, eddies, current breaks, you know, below dams and current seams can be a good spot. But the river I'm on today, we've only got about a half a mile an hour current. So it's really not enough to make good current seams and stuff to hold the moon eye. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to look around deep water. They seem to hang out in deep water during the day. And then they're going to come up and feed real heavy about an hour before dark. Now they don't jump out of the water like a skipjack or a bass or something would. They're just coming up picking them bugs off the top of the water. There you go. That's all you're going to see. That's what you need to look for. So we've already got a few moon eyes starting to break the surface here. We're going to go ahead and start trying to see if we can catch a few. Like I said, we're going to do some flathead fishing tonight and they make absolutely awesome flathead bait. There's one. We haven't even got into the prime time yet. That's about an average size moon eye. They get a lot bigger than that. And they, a lot, there's a lot of small ones in here too, but that's about what we're looking for right there. It's a good size to use live. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get him in the bait tank. That, as long as you don't handle them much, like I said, they'll, they'll stay alive. But that does seem to be one thing they're sens sensitive to is you don't want to handle them too much. Another thing I like to do when I'm by myself is just cast one out the back, set it in the rod holder, just let it float around behind the boat. You'd be surprised how I many you can catch like that. Got one. Now that's a small one, but that is a moon eye on the fly. He's a little small. We'll put him back. Like I said, guys, you want to grab them and get them in the live well as quick as possible.
There's another one about the same size. I don't know if you can pick up on them little teeth in there or not. Oh, he'll be dead now. So I don't know if you can see his teeth in there or not. We got little teeth. No, oh, we got one taking it there. We get him. We got that one. That's about the size we're looking for right there. Caught him on a red worm. Well, he was hooked good. I know it's dark, guys. We're just going to keep them in the live well. I think I've got five. I'm pr I'll probably try to get one more and then we'll have enough. Feels like a flathead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Caught that one on the moon eye. Piece of fresh moon eye that I just caught. I got gizzard shad on four rods and cut moon eye on two. And he wanted the moon eye. Oh, 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 oh. Taking a little drag. I hope he stays hooked up, man. It's been a while since I've caught a fish. It feels like a pretty good, pretty good one. Definitely a flathead, I think. Oh, nice. There he is, guys. Nice little flathead for a 10 pound or so. Caught him on a, caught him on a piece of cut moon eye. I had gizzard shad on most of them, but I had moon eye on two of them, and he took one of them. He wanted that moon eye. If you're not using moon eye, guys, and you got them in your river, check them out. They're great bait. I'm we'll getting back in. Oh, that's a fish. Four rods out with gizzard shad on it. I haven't had a bite. I put two rods out with moon eye. And I've caught a fish on both chunks. And I had another takedown on the other piece of moon eye and missed him. There you go, guys. There's living proof. Chunk of moon eye uh, ahead. Looks like I'm going to be switching up the moon eye on everything. Tonight, anyway. Seems to be what they want. Pretty little blue cat. Looks like it's time to reel these in and get moon eye on them. Okay, guys, that's about all I got time for tonight. I got to get up early and go to work in the morning. Probably should have been home hours ago, but you can't just leave when fish are biting. But I hope you all got something out of the video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button for me. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.